guys, it's Kylie here with Kylie Scan on Boot Camp, and today's video I just want to go over some things that you guys could do with your dogs during this quarantine. I see this question a lot, I get this question a lot of good ways to exercise your dog, um, both physically and mentally, so I have a bunch of things that you can either buy, you can make, or you can just do at home. This is going to be a hard time, especially for uh, more energetic breeds, more energetic dogs in general, because some of you have mutts. Um, so I can't really call them a breed, um, but for some of those dogs that are higher need when it comes to mental stimulation and physical exercise, like your Belgian Malinois, your Border Collie, this is going to be very difficult for them to be inside for at least two weeks, if not longer, depending on how this goes. So I felt like this is a good time to make a video like this. So first off, just training your dog is going to be good mental exercise for them. It's going to be a good way to, this is a good time to work on refreshing or um, work on getting a few things down that they struggle with, this is going to be a great time to do that. You can still take your dogs on walks, just make sure you are keeping that social dis distance at least six feet apart from each other if someone else is walking by you or around you. But you still can take your dog on walks. Um, you should still be taking your dog on walks if you're capable of doing that. And then just training, uh, doing sessions throughout the day of basic obedience. Even if your dog has no issues with it, it's always good to still go back over the basics. Um, leash work, whatever your dog needs help with or is struggling with, working on that. Um, maybe training some new things, some fun tricks, new tasks, whatever. Um, this is a good time to do that because you have the time. Another thing is agility. If you have a way to set up certain aspects of it, like a jump, for example, I used to use two chairs and a pole with when I was like eight years old with a mutt that we had that was just super good at agility. That's what I would do in my backyard is I would just set up jumps with two chairs and a pole or a stick of some sort and have him jump over them. Um, you can make things like that. You can do uh, set up a blanket in a way that it's up off the ground and they go through it. Um, PVC pipe. PVC pipe is uh, supposed to be very good for making agility um, and you can also buy a lot of it online if you have the money except for a lot of it is expensive. Um, I think like the cheapest bridge I saw was like $60 and that was just for the um, cover not for the actual bridge you'd have to buy your own things to set the bridge up so <laughs> it's expensive to buy that stuff, especially if you're looking for quality. Um, you can get some cheaper kits, but they're just not very good quality. We had one, I had one at one point, and it was like weave poles and stuff, and this was just a cheap one for the puppies that were learning. A puppy ran into a weave pole and it snapped off. It is good quality for the price, but it's still expensive if you can afford that. Puzzle toys are going to be great during this time to really help stimulate them, especially when they're bored. Uh, if you have a dog that gets frustrated super easily or they just are not very good at puzzle toys, you need an easier one, I recommend the Bobolot Interactive Pet Toy. Um, that's a pretty easy one for dogs. You can find it on Amazon. And it's pretty cheap. Um, and there's a few other like cheaper toys. A lot of them, it's like you can do a very easy difficulty and you slowly build up so the dog starts, it makes it more and more difficult as the dog learns it. Um, there's all sorts, sorts of puzzle toys. You can also get a snuffle mat. Those can also be found on Amazon and they're pretty cheap too. If any of you can afford this, there's also a manual treadmill. Um, basically it's when the dog runs, the treadmill moves, but if they were to slow down or stop, it's going to go at their pace. That's why it's called manual because you don't just press a button and it goes. It's a little bit safer for dogs because if they're starting to get tired and you aren't watching or you don't understand really how to look for that, then it could they could potentially get hurt so i like to use manuals for dogs um if you can afford that that's a good idea um another thing is the flirt pole this is also a very good thing to get a dog um really working uh a lot of people will use it when they can't take their dogs on walks um they'll use it just to get that extra excess energy out that maybe they can't keep up with or it's just something to do if they're tight on time It'll also help build muscle. Um, if you have a puppy, make sure you're doing this appropriately. Anything in this video, if your dog is under that full growth which for large breeds is two, typically two years old for extra large breeds, it can be up to three years old before those growth plates are fully fused. Um, 
make sure you're not having them jump very high keep impacts limited uh, that's something I talk about a lot this just helps uh, preserve those joints for as they get older if from a young age they're constantly putting impact down they're more likely to have um, arthritis hip dysplasia an injury because they're not quite strong yet uh, don't worry about building muscle on a dog that is under two to three years old uh, you still want to give them that exercise they still need to be exercised but make sure you are doing it within proper limits and doing it um, without impact on those joints so like for jumps don't start jumping your dog um, if it's a puppy under two years is typically a puppy they're not considered an adult until two so under that two to three year old depending on your dog don't start jumping them uh, you can get the foundation going so you just set a pole between the two poles <laughs> on the ground and they just walk over it that gets them used to going over instead of going under or around um tunnel is fine for those puppies a bridge would be fine for them as long as you're making sure that they're not jumping on and off make sure they are walking over it like they're supposed to balance beam is risky with them um i don't like to do it with puppies depending on the kind of balance beam you have um but you can do it depending again depending on the balance beam you have if you have a pretty low one that's pretty easy that's fine and if you hold it on the way down so it's not coming down hard um that limits the impact more um this is gonna be a hard time for a lot of you guys especially for people with service dogs and training um if your dog was starting uh pat which is public access training or your dog was already in pat you can still take your dogs into grocery stores make sure nobody touches your dog um right now dogs can get it on them and that could spread to you so don't let anybody touch your dog this is a time to be extra vigilant even when you're taking your dog on walks don't let people touch your dog make sure you are keeping that six foot distance as usual this is gonna be a hard time for the dogs uh they're gonna get very bored they're not gonna understand why the uh schedules have changed routines have changed they're not going out in public um, not going on walks as frequently. Some people are not taking their dogs on walks at all right now because they're too scared um, of the virus and that's fine. You still have to exercise your dog though. Um, not exercising them or giving them mental stimulation during at least a two week period is going to cause a lot of issues. Even more mellow dogs, this could still cause issues. But it's especially going to be bad for those of you with Belgian Malinois even German Shepherds, Border Collies, Australian Cattle Dog. Um, those high energy, high drive breeds are gonna really struggle right now if you're not still providing mental stimulation and that physical exercise. So make sure you are still doing it. Uh, we don't want your Belgian Malinois going and tearing up your entire house. Um, Keeping up with training, this is, an, again, this is an amazing time to train new things that you haven't had time to train in the past or work on things that you haven't had time to work on. Even for pet dogs, if you're, if you know your dog is pretty bad about begging for food, work on that. If you know your, your pet dog is bad on a leash, work on that. This is a great time to work on those things and really work with your dogs and spend a lot of bonding time with them. Um, cause even if you guys are already bonded, it's never a bad idea to continue bonding doing things that they find fun, playing tug of war, um, training will help build a bond, doing agility helps build a bond because they have to trust you when you tell them go over this object, walk on this object, go through this object, they have to trust you completely for that so it's a very good bonding game um, and it'll tell you if your dog really trusts you. <laughs> um, also a confidence builder, agility is just great, it's a confidence builder, it gets the exercise in, it's a bond builder. It's just an overall great thing. I love agility <laughs> and it's fun for you and it's usually fun for the dog. Sometimes dogs are pretty anxious about it at first, but once they get used to it, the dogs find it so fun. I've yet to find a dog that doesn't like agility. I think the only thing that most dogs hate is the weave poles and balance beams sometimes depending on the dog, but most of them love the jumps. Most of them love all of them so far have loved the tunnel because <laughs> dogs are it makes sense because dogs are den animals so that tunnel kind of provides a den almost um just a lot of positives to agility so if you have the capabilities of creating a mini course 
and working with your dog on that or even getting supplies for it, this is a great time to do that. Puzzle toys are especially important right now. Your dog's going to have boring moments. It's going to get bored. It's going to want to be destructive because it is so bored. Puzzle toys are going to be a lifesaver saver right now. Snuffle mats, great. Um, whatever you can get to keep your dog occupied during this time is going to be amazing. Uh, due to this virus, I am doing free video chats or messages for you guys to help with training for those of you that don't have a trainer right now because of the virus um can't get in contact with your trainer or just really need help right now i am here um it's all free you don't have to pay me anything uh just message me on instagram at kylie service canines or message me on facebook at kylie's canine boot camp um i'll make sure to get back to you guys and help out during this time I hope everyone's staying safe, keep the social distancing, really spend time with your dogs. I'm sure they're all loving it, even the pet dogs, they're especially loving it. Um, their owners are finally home. All of the animals that you may have are probably loving this time. And make sure you really spend that time with them and really enjoy this time because you don't always get a bunch of time to just sit at home with your animals all day. I hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, I wish all of you well. We'll see you guys next week.